welcome to Ramadan Health Guide. My name is Amna Taqi and I'm an Associate Nutritionist. The aim of this program is for us to be able to provide you with all the information, knowledge and skills that you need that will help you to improve your health, not only in the month of Ramadan, but also after the month of Ramadan. This is very important for us during a time when we're constantly bombarded with conflicting um, information about food, diet and nutrition. Sometimes we can be left confused over well, what are the things that I, act, I can actually be doing that would improve my health. And the aim of this program is for us to go through that information to make sure that you know what are the steps that you can take confidently that will help you to improve your health. Today's topic is some of the other benefits um, of fasting and how fasting can um, impact our health in many different ways. One of the things that um, fasting has been associated with is an improved weight management and also um, it could also aid weight loss. And, and why is that? Is because we have limited our energy intake and the amount of energy that we consume is much less than what we regularly consume and that's why it could help with weight loss. However, um, in the long term, um, some of the evidence uh, is lacking in terms of if the weight loss during fasting, is it replaced or not? But in the short term, it's a great way of uh, losing weight. Another benefit of fasting is that it helps uh, promote a type of hormone that we have in our body called the um, human growth hormone. That um, is, um, that's a, it's a protein hormone and the aim of it um, is it helps with our muscles, with growth, with metabolism um, and this um, hormone is, a, uh, is essential for our growth. Now what the fasting does is that the fasting naturally increases this uh, health growth hormone and that's why um, we see some benefits in terms of those um, um, in terms of those issues when it comes to fasting. Another um, benefit of fasting is that it could help with um, increased longevity for example and it could delay the aging process. These um, have been uh, have been associated in um, in animals rather than humans. The human research is lacking. However, it's quite uh, interesting to see that fasting could help um, with that process. Again, the long term impact um, it's still to be um, found, and it's still um, we still need to look at how that can impact humans as well. But generally, that's what we see in uh, animals. Uh, another benefit of fasting is that it can also um, uh, prevent uh, things like tumours um, from cancers or um, it could also improve the efficiency of chemotherapy. Uh, again, those uh, benefits are uh, limited to test tubes and to animals. However, we've seen that in those specific scenarios, um, tumours um, can be blocked or prevented from growth even more and uh, chemotherapy um, um, is uh, improved in terms of its, its efficiency. Um, so those are the main benefits of fasting. But remember, these are all potential benefits. It's not necessarily that um, if someone fasts, then these are the benefits that they have to see. It's all potential benefits. But fasting is great for us and for our body in more ways that we can imagine. Sometimes, yes, the science is lacking. We don't have enough evidence, but we do know um, from personal experience that fasting has a beneficial impact on our body. Thank you for joining us today, and I hope you've uh, gained more awareness of what are some of the benefits of fasting. Thank you and Ma'asalaamu.